Hey there fellow Minecrafters, welcome back to the Draki series here. This is Jason and welcome to another Minecraft tutorial video. I'm in Minecraft 1.18.2 and I'm on the Java edition. I'm going to be showing you something pretty cool with these signs right here. And I'm hopefully going to be able to show you something that you did not know you could do with signs in the game. Because what I'm going to show you is, for example here, we actually have this sign, and as you can see, it says give diamonds. And when we actually interact with it or right click it in the game right here, you can see that it does just that. We now have 64 diamonds in our inventory. So that is what I'm actually showing you in this video. What I like, what I like to call command signs or just to how to run a command from a sign. And we have another one down here, which is summon creeper. So if I interact with this one, it actually summons a creeper at the signs position. So you can do quite a few things with it. And basically the whole idea is that you can um, actually use one command from the sign when the click event is actually done. So yeah, um, if you do learn something new within this video, hopefully you enjoy. And if you do, please subscribe and show some love on the channel. It'd be very much appreciated. And I'm now going to show you how to actually do this. Now, you can use any sign whatsoever. It doesn't really matter. So you can use an oak sign or a spruce sign or a crimson sign. It doesn't really matter. And so long as you have an idea of what you want to put on the sign and also... Um, what uh, action you want to put on the sign as well or uh, the command you want to use. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to place the, the sign where you want it to be and it can be on a block or on a wall and so on. And what we're then going to want to do is you're going to want to put yourself within the block, within the block that the sign is actually in. And we're now going to kind of go through what we actually need to do. now. Some of you may not be aware, but when you actually do a sign, there's actually uh, four separate lines that you can actually do. So you've got line one, line two, line three, and line four. So you're going to want to figure out what line you want to put your text on, um, because what you actually do is you actually put the command or the click event on one of the lines. So the easiest thing you can do with this is that you just create uh, one sign with um, the text you want to do, and then you just apply the click event to that one line. That's the simplest way of doing it. And I will show you something else in a moment here, but um, this particular sign that I'm doing here with you guys right now, uh, what we're actually going to do here is we're going to do a sign that summons a zombie at this location. So that is what we're going to do. But once you're actually at the signs location, we're going to be doing a slash data merge command and we're going to do a block and we're going to be um, doing tilde, tilde, tilde. And that is making sure that we merge new data into the sign at our location. Uh, because we're using relative coordinates in this case. And this is what we're going to have to do. So in my case, I want to put my text on the second line of the sign. So how you actually do that is you need to do either text one, two, three, or four, depending on what line you want the action to be on. And um, basically what you can actually do is if you want the second line, you do text two and so on. And this is what you need to do in the first instance is that you put text two colon and then in single quotes, you need to have some more uh, curly brackets. And this is where we actually set the data for that line. And it does get a bit more complicated when you have multiple lines on the sign, uh, but I will show you that near the end of the video. But um, at the moment, I'm assuming that we're only doing one line on the sign. And what we're going to do here is we're going to do uh, in double quotes, text, and then in some more double quotes, we're going to put uh, summon zombie. So the second line is going to say summon zombie. All right. 
And within that, the next thing we're going to do here, um, after this double quote here, is we're going to now do, um, basically we're going to do click event like that, okay, in double quotes. And then what we're then going to do is colon and then some more curly brackets like that. And then we're going to do in double quotes, action, colon, and then run underscore command like that. And then at the end, you're then going to want to do value in double quotes like that. And then colon. And then in double quotes, this is where you put the command. Okay. So in my case, it's going to be summon Minecraft colon zombie. And then using relative coordinates here, we're going to spawn the zombie at that sign. So that is the full command right there. And that allows us to do one bit of text. So if we now run this, you can see now that there is now summon zombie on the sign, which you didn't have previously. And if I right click on this sign, ta-da, we have a zombie that spawns and unfortunately burns to death because uh, <laughs> we're in the daytime right here. But um, I can right click this sign as much as I like. As you can see, and we've actually had, <laughs> we've actually had a baby zombie spawn as well. And, uh, you can use this sign over and over and over again, and it's very, very useful as a whole. Alright, so I just killed all those zombies because they were making quite the racket, weren't they? But um, that is how you do a command sign in Minecraft. And very, very quickly, I'm just going to go over how you do multiple lines because you may have to fit more small text on the sign because basically how it works is that you only have to specify one of the lines to have the click event. So what we're going to do here is um, we're going to do another sign here, but do two loads of text. So I've placed the sign down and I'm going to bring the command back that we had before. And as you can see, we have the text to summon zombie and so on. But what we're going to do here is that at the end, we're going to add another bit to this. We're going to do uh, text free. Uh, like this and we're going to do something like that so we're going to do text free so we're now going to be trying to put text into the third line of the sign okay and we're only worrying about text at this point um, because um, we're not we've already done the command for the click event so this is just worrying about text and within here, we can do, I don't know, Draki what rocks or something like that. <laughs> and if we actually run that now, you can see that we've now actually done uh, two lines on the sign. So there's summon zombie and Draki rocks that we just added. But as you can see, if I right click the sign right here, you can see that it still works. And that is how you do multiple lines of text using this method. All right, everyone, that's about it for this tutorial. And just before I end off the video, I just want to say that I will put the command that I'm using or the commands I'm using in the description of the video as well so that you can look at that. And you can also copy and paste them into your Minecraft as well. But I also like to show you doing the command in real time so that you can actually get a picture of how to do it yourself. But uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you did like the video, then please subscribe to the channel and like the video and click the notification bell so you stay notified of any future videos. I hope to reach 20,000 subscribers as my next goal. So that'd be absolutely great if you could do that. And uh, my Twitter is in the description if you are interested in following that. But yeah, hopefully you have a nice day, everyone. And I hope to see you again in the next video and next tutorial or next redstone tutorial or whatever I happen to make. But I will see you guys next time. Take care and bye bye.